spooky. Oh, look at that one right there. Not, not on a bed, though, you know? They're not on a bed. Wow. Look at that one. That's the biggest one around here. Yeah, that looks like a freaking five pounder. All day, five pounder. <laughs> Maybe even bigger, I don't even know. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. So, today I'm gonna be kind of lazy today. When I mean lazy, I mean like, I'm not gonna do any B-roll, no crazy edits. I'm just gonna go out fishing, see what happens as always. And uh, yeah, I'm back on the California Delta. We're fishing at a spot that I have not been to in a long time, so I have no clue what's gonna happen. I don't even know how the bite is here. Just gonna be me, trying to figure something out today. I've got all my usual suspects back there. We've got the chatterbait, of course the new Ned Rig. Got some crankbaits. Really just looking to catch some pre-spawn Delta bass. So that is the video for today. Hopefully it's not an in and out day. We'd enjoy a good day of fishing, especially after those fulsome days. Those fulsome days were tough. Anyways, that is the plan for today. Stay tuned. Alrighty, let's get it started, shall we? I guarantee most of you guys know which bait I'm gonna start with. Can you guess? Can you guess? All right, who said cheddar bait? Gotta get that first cast out of the way. All right, we're good to go. How's about a big in today? Seven pounder, what do you guys say? That'd be nice. What's up? Yeah, what's up guys? Nah, nah. I got out of here about an hour ago. Nothing yet. How about you guys? Oh, that's cool, dude. We'll oh yeah, for sure. That'd be sweet. Oh, man, you guys know what's up. The core is light already. I like it. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. How you guys doing? Nice to see you out here, man. Yeah, you guys too. Right. Good luck. Right, you, you see any sea lions down this way? No, I didn't see it. No, okay, cool. Yeah, let's go looking. Oh, big and right there. And that's why we came up shallow, because I figured these fish would be up here. I say big and that was like a three pounder. Okay, so they are shallow. That's why I always love to stand up and take a peek just in case. Might need this tide to get a little higher though, so these are fishable areas. Yes, all right. There is life back here. Put a mark right there. Might as well. Oh, yeah. There's a big one right on the outside. Okay, enough standing. Gotta do more fishing. Right on the outside grass line. Just gotta figure exactly how to present your bait. That one was on the outside grass line, just hanging out. All right, guys, gonna give you a little bit of an update. It is 12 o'clock, or 12.02. Fishing for three hours now, not a single bite. I stood up a couple of times. I saw a couple of pretty good bass, like three pounders up shallow on this low tide, but uh, no takers. Fished the outside grass line, fished the grass, went a little deeper, fished way up shallow. Tried a bunch of different baits, but no takers. Now we've got an incoming tide. This water should be rising. So I did put a waypoint on those fish. We're gonna keep exploring a little bit more water here, but we're definitely gonna go make our way back through those areas and fish that water. Those fish should be a little bit easier to present a bait to. There are definitely some fish shallow. Just might be a timing deal. Gonna keep going. Whew. Let's hopefully turn this day around. Oh, what was that? I thought I saw a fish shallow. Oh yeah, right there, I see a shallow. Best way to catch him. Going to an old Delta standby when the fishing's tough. You gotta get a little finessey with them. Last piece to the puzzle. Little weedless drop shot. And if it gets real tough, I'll put some fish sticks on there. Yeah, again, I just saw a smaller fish, kind of shallow. Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe I'll catch one of the little ones shallow. <laughs> it's a little guy. But it is the skunk off the boat. A little males cruising, I think, up shallow. Finally. Thank you, sir. When you need a bite, it's hard to beat this, especially on the Delta. 
<laughs> oh, there's another bite. The same spot. A little bit bigger one. You know what? How funny would that be? That kind of looks like... I mean, that... There is a chance, I'll have to go check it out, but there's a chance that, eh, never mind. I was going to say, there's a chance that there's a bed over there and I just caught the male and just caught the female, but I don't think that's the female. I think that's another male. A little magical dock right there. Ah, feels good to be catching. I wonder how many more are under that dock. I think there's a chance that we'll see fish on beds, but I highly doubt it. Never know though. There's another one. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's a pile of fish right there. It's like they're hitting it on the fall. As soon as my bait lands right there, they bite. I saw one right there. A couple of them right there. Those weren't the two I just caught, were they? Literally just saw two the same size. I'm pr there they are. Oh, there's three of them right there. I think those are just males getting ready to make beds. Another one right there, there's number four. There were a bunch right there. Number five, there's a bunch of them back here. A bunch of smaller males, another one. Oh man, tons of them, tons of them. Look at all of them actually. Holy smokes, there's a bunch of them right there. Wow, look at that one. That one's like a four pounder right there. Oh, there's that big one. It might be like a five actually. Mr. Big Head, that's the biggest one around here. Oh my God, that one scared me. That's a giant right there. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Biggins are shallow. If you make a long enough cast, you can catch the males. Like, you can definitely catch them if they don't know you're there. Exact same spot I just hovered over. I came back around, made that long cast, and got a bite. They can't know you're in the area. These fish are too smart to that. As soon as they know you're there, they're not gonna bite. It's like something triggers them just to know it's not safe to eat something right now. Oh, I see the giant. That's a 10 pounder right there. I just saw a 10 pounder. Are you serious? Dude, that... I thought it was a log. I got curious and stood up and the thing bolted. Man, apparently I'm really good at seeing big fish. Catching big fish, on the other hand, I don't seem to be very good at. This could be interesting. Oh yeah, that giant right there. They're not on beds though. They will be though. Oh, look at that one right there. Not, not on a bed though, you know? They're not on a bed. Another big one right there, just sitting there. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's tons of fish back here. There we go. Be a giant. Please be a big one. Be a good one. It's gotta be better. I think it's, oh, it's good. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Oh, get out of there, dude. Oh no, that's not a good thing. That's not good. Oh yeah. It's about time. This is the kind of fish I've been seeing too. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good one. It's a very nice one. Fat, fat delta fish. Well, I guess drop shot's the way to go. Alrighty, these are the kinds of fish I have been seeing everywhere. I think I just gotta keep throwing that drop shot and putting it on one's head, luckily. Thank you, girl. Got pretty lucky to land that fish, I will say. All up in the nasty stuff. She stayed pegged though. We had her hooked pretty good. A little weedless zoom z drop. And I've been throwing the Ned too. I don't know. I think just enough grass for that, that Ned rig to kind of get buried. At least with a drop shot, I can kind of keep this out of the grass. You can see right here on the graph what I'm talking about. It just kind of keeps it off the bottom a little bit. Oh, 
Yeah, I was just saying, or I was just about to say, we've circled the entire area. Wow, hook fell right out. We're going back through the same areas now that I know I've seen fish with that drop shot. It's the only bait I can get bit on, and uh, can I just try to catch some of those fish that I was I was seeing earlier? But they probably saw me first. Eh, another healthy one. I think you just gotta get lucky with it. Keep casting. Hopefully it lands by one's face and seemingly the only way I can get a bite. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today's day of fishing. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough out here. We found fish, we just cannot get them to bite. It was almost like Folsom and I think the fish actually were doing the same thing. These fish were staging. We saw a ton of fish. I mean, we found that one area that had 40, 50 fish that we could visually see and I'm sure there were more, but they were staging, getting ready to spawn. It looked like I saw a bunch of smaller fish, a bunch of males up shallow. Looks like if this weather stays stable that, you know, by next week, some of these fish could lock on bed. So I'll probably be back next week because that one area that had some big fish for sure. Couldn't get bit on the chatterbait. Think if we had some wind and maybe some overcast, we could get those fish to react but pretty much a slick calm day today the ned rig didn't work we tried some other baits but ultimately what worked was a bait that i have not been throwing since i discovered the ned rig a couple of weeks ago but that is the tried and true weedless drop shot one of my favorite baits of all time when the bite is tough and i've had really good success with it especially on the delta with all this grass when the bite is tough we use that little zoom z drop and green pumpkin weedless hook small weight and uh, making long casts and uh, we actually tricked a pretty good fish big fish of the year so far pretty exciting there's definitely some big fish around and hopefully one of these days we can trick one of those giants that we see. But either way, that is today's video. Thank you guys for coming along, and I will see you guys in the next one.